By far the most common motif in Nihonga, or Japanese painting, is nature and the seasons. So you will see various representations of plants and animals uh, during different times of the year. This show is bringing together work that's created by artists on opposite sides of the planet. Um, so in each work, there's going to be influences that are there that are very new. Uh, as for um, the differences uh, between um, Asian art, uh, particularly Japanese art and Western art, um, I think that one of the main differences you'll notice is how things are represented. Um, in Western art, we focus a lot on um, realism, we focus on light and value um, in how we depict things. In uh, a lot of Asian art, particularly in uh, traditional Asian art, um, the energy or essence of something, how something feels, uh, is, is the focus. And so the way that things are depicted, uh, more thought is going into uh, the way that the brush strokes uh, themselves look um, and how that conveys the feeling of something, whether it's light or whether it's dark, whether the line is heavy or whether it's uh, delicate. Um, the wetness of a brush stroke, the dryness of a brush stroke, the, the type of material itself um, and what that feels like. Here's an example of a brush that's used oftentimes in Nihonga. You can see it has a very specific shape. It allows for um, gradation as well as uh, fine lines. So to, if I just use the tip of it, I can get fine lines and then I can also get beautiful gradations. I think right now with the pandemic going on and everyone being essentially in isolation from each other, uh, this idea of exploring off into the horizon and seeing something totally fresh and totally new made by other people is something that a lot of us could really use right now. When you see those paintings, especially people and animals and the building and the different subject, uh, try to experience more uh, what is drawn, like maybe energy. F try to feel the feeling of the subject. And then you can be free from kind of a uh, trying to check with like, oh, this look like this or something. And because these paintings are made on totally different perspective of seeing things, the understanding of things and then the value for th those subjects are really different. An important a uh, aspect of this is that it's, it's New Horizons plural. And this speaks to the idea that there is no one single truth. There is no um, absolute truth or absolute idea or absolute way to do something. And I think by seeing these works, it will open people up to a lot of different possibilities uh, artistically and creatively.